is the first ride on the rebuilt 2002 to 2019 CR125. Put this back on here. You'll see that in a minute. But here it is. First ride video. Yeah, first ride on this thing. Finally, I know a lot of you guys have been eager to see it. And here it is. Finally, we got a nice day. It's about to get dark. We got like 30 minutes to uh, film this reveal riding video. If you didn't see yesterday's video, got the new shorty on there. We got the, uh, the new throttle on here. Blood the brakes, we're good to go. Along with I put the stock head back on there because I want to compare it to the KX125 stock to stock and then we'll both put the fat racing mod heads or whatever you want to call it, the fat racing heads on both and then we'll compare them that way. Should be fun, check the bike over. Probably, uh, probably check the tire pressure because I never did it from when I set the bead. So I'm sure these are at like a lot. If you guys are new and you want to see more videos with the CR125, make sure you're subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up if you're pumped and uh, have followed the whole build series video until now. Finally have this thing fully complete. Let's see what they're at. I bet they're at uh, over about 37. My camera mode focus. It's way off. 25. We're at about 12 and a half. That should be good. Do a little quick. And uh, we should be ready to go for the front. Chuck the rear. Get geared up. Come on, we can't hear four strokes in this video. Yeah, I already set this one, so we're good. Oh, keep dropping these things. Normally, these things you'll lose in about two seconds. We'll have to get Mike to shut that thing off because nobody wants to hear that thing. All right, one thing I want to mention before, I know I'm going to get some comments while I'm riding it here first. I mentioned it before. I don't want to take it to the track and waste my time. I want to get a feel for it here. If I have to adjust anything, I can do that now before I waste the full day in front of the track and having it not be good. So test it out here and then we'll get the real, real first ride, hopefully this weekend. No. Got a little bit of 93 left over. May as well use it before we put the 110 in. Oh. Boom. Everything's tight.
came out decent, warmed up good. I don't know if I can grab this while still riding. Well, I hope uh, those clips were decent enough to make a decent video for you guys. I apologize, I was spent all day kind of touching up the bike and trying to get it ready for today and then it ended up taking longer than I thought, of course. And here we are, I had like 30 minutes to ride, so we made it work though. I think that's it. We'll get a better uh, full, full ride video here this weekend, hopefully. But chain loosened up so much, it started to like, that's why I was... It, no, it, it's slapping, yeah, but it loosened up so much. Look how loose that much. That was like two fingers when I started. Yeah, it was tight enough though, not that loose. Yeah, but I mean, it started slipping. As I came around, I'm like, alright, that's what I'm going to call it before it snaps off and goes through the case. But, fun time. A record quickest break. Less than an hour. <laughs> 30 minutes before I not, not destroyed minutes. something. That idled for 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it's solid though. I mean, it ran fine. You know, no complaints to be honest, other than my stupidity and not tightening the chain right now, but it's dark anyways. Yeah, successful. The camera's still rolling. I gotta go get that, but let me know what you think in the comments. The pipe blew up really nice. It looks sick. Adjust it and stiffen up the forks. They're a little soft. You can't even touch the ground. Like I said, successful ride. I don't really have anything else to say, but I'm gonna tweak it a little bit. I adjust the bars, the levers a little bit more. I didn't literally didn't touch anything. I just slapped them on and just ran them. Pull the bars back, it'd probably be a little more comfortable. The seat's really comfortable. Way more comfortable than my KX. The stock Howie seat is hard, and uh, that thing was like a couch. Love it, so. Bring it back home, check everything over tomorrow, make sure everything's tight, wash it up, and uh, we'll be ready to maybe ride it sometime this week. If it gets nice, it's supposed to start raining again, so we had one nice day to ride. But no complaints, bike was solid. I'm super pumped on it. We'll get it loaded in the truck, head back home. Saw a little 30 minute ride or so. We are all set, ready to go. Take care of your stuff, kids. Wash it after you're done. It'll last longer. Maybe if you don't beat on it too hard. And with that, a little WD-40 on the pipe so it doesn't rust and uh, warm up. And that's a wrap. And I'm gonna take off this terrible grip tape job and redo it make it look a little cleaner because this just looks terrible with that to end this video off i want to thank everybody who's been supporting and watching the build videos on this thing thus far from beginning to end and anybody else who supports these videos because without you guys this build wouldn't have been possible along with the sponsors who helped build this thing such as wrench rabbit pivot works new england graphics Outlaw Racing, Lectron for the carb, Mika Metals, Fathead Racing for the head, which is over here, Josh for doing all the vapor honing and cleaning up all the parts, Spec Bolt for the bolt kit and washers, tying everything together. I think that's everybody. If I forgot anybody, I'm sorry. But yeah, without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible, along with, like I said, everybody who supports me and watches the videos. I'm really, really stoked on how the bike came out. Very big plans with this thing. You have to stay on the lookout within the next few weeks. But with that, if you guys are new, make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Mondigan, to see what's going down before the vlogs come out. And with that, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.